Hello and welcome to my one year update on the PRS SE Paul's guitar. I've had this guitar for a little while now and I thought it was time just to update you all. Let you know what I'm thinking of this guitar because I have been playing it quite a lot over the last few months. I thought it was worthwhile just talking about its pluses, its pitfalls and everything in between because it is a quite a popular guitar. Let's first of all talk about the look. So it does still obviously look good. It hasn't, mine hasn't really taken on any blemishes or dings or anything like that. It's still in really, really super nick, even though I've been playing it pretty much almost as one of my daily players. I really, really enjoy this guitar, mainly because of its versatility. What it really, really stands out for is it's these pickups. Let's not beat around the bush. These so-called TCIS pickups, which have the coil switching on both, you can muck around with these to your heart's content to get so many different sounds. And I found that over time really, really so much fun. It really can sound quite stratty. It can sound quite Les Pauly and everything in between. To an extent, it replaces a lot of my other guitars, as much as I hate to admit it. Do I really need all these other guitars now I've got this one? Oh no, I mean, to some degree, this PRS has kind of ruined the rest of my collection. And I kind of think to myself a lot, do I even need the rest of them? This is set up so it plays really smooth, plays easy. I can go to a Fender sound if I want. It's really, really lightweight. I mean, my Gibson's very lightweight as well. I've got a lightweight one. But this is a really, really easy player. It just, it just almost plays itself. That is the truth of the matter. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by PRS. Please don't throw hate and shade and what have you if I seem effusive about this guitar. I'm only effusive about it because I think it's a really, really good guitar. And I think if you can find one, I think you should definitely give it a go and give it a play because, you know, some of the parts in this are very, very good indeed. This apparently, this bridge piece apparently is the same one as the PRS Core guitar, which is worth many, many times what this is. And it's got the advantage on this one of having these humbuckers on here. As you go up the range, in fact, the cores, these actually get smaller and they're very specific to the guitar. So if you did want to switch the humbuckers out on this guitar, you absolutely can. No worries at all. They, they, this will take anything um, that you throw at it. You could switch these out. Quite frankly, why on earth would you? Uh, you could get yourself some active Fishmans or what have you and some of the, change some of the electronics in the back and do all sorts. But really, you don't need to. This guitar plays and sounds absolutely Fantastic. I'll do a sound dab at the end of this as well so you can see these um, abalone or abalone style inlays look gorgeous as well. It's a lovely guitar. And actually, I wanted to write a wrong that I said in my review, my original review. And um, I apologize to Paul Reed Smith and all his fans and everybody else. I did say that the neck was now it's technically true. It is multiply. The neck is multiply and you can't really see into this one. But the multiply does have various benefits. It's good in the weather. If you have extremes of temperature, having a few pieces of wood up the neck is actually very positive. It's good for rigidity. And it's overall very good for the durability of the guitar in general. So that's actually a positive. I called it, I think I called it plywood in my, in my first review. That was a bit harsh. I think this is a really, really nice neck and it does feel really, really good to play on. Obviously we can't see what it looks like on this one because it's got the black back. I think they do do this in a clear finish on the back as well so you can see the bits of wood. I think in general they stick to maybe three pieces for the neck which is absolutely fine. It's not sort of many 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 layers of wood in there so it's not a huge deal. I don't know if you do want a single piece in this you're gonna to have to pay a lot more money anyway but again versus the more expensive ones just like the pickups this has advantages in some ways over the more expensive models. So it's worth noting because obviously that is good in different weathers and these you've got the versatility of switching out for whatever you want, which is really cool. As I say, not that you necessarily want to, but you might if you've got extremes of taste or you know you just want to do something different. The tuners were one of the main bugbears in a lot of reviews. In my original review, I did say I thought they were good, but I hadn't owned the guitar for a huge amount of time then. Now that I've had it, for over a year. These tuners have held up brilliantly. People have said that these are super plasticky. A lot of people have been upset with these tuners because they don't feel as premium as the price of this guitar might suggest. Having said that, they work really well. You can do monster bends on this thing and it won't go out of tune. They're actually incredibly stable. 
The only thing you might want to do is maybe if you want to, you could change these to locking tuners. If you really, really felt like it, um, you could change them to locking. I think that's the only thing I would do. But otherwise, it would just be an aesthetic change because those tu these tuners are actually really, really solid indeed. Prove that now, in fact. <laughs> It's got the cutaway on here, which is really good. It does have a relatively decent sized neck on this, which I find incredibly comfortable. I've got quite uh, decent sized hands. I mean, they're not huge, but um, I don't like super thin necks necessarily. And I don't like super fat. Um, this is somewhere in between. It's a very, very nice profile of neck indeed. Lovely, lovely neck. I absolutely, this is to be fair, I think on any guitar, this is my favorite neck. So let's go back. Favorite pickups, my favorite neck, tuners, super stable, super versatile, because I, you know, I'm a bit of a finickety person with my sound. And I love to be able to switch things around on the fly as I go. And I love to just, I, I love to have, to have the facility to, to flick things around and to switch up whenever I feel like it like I'm sure a lot of you do, to get exactly the sound you're looking for at any one time. Now, the only thing, other thing that I could say before we get onto the sound demo is that this unfortunately means you don't have any tremolo on here, which would be my only reason for having another guitar which does have some sort of tremolo system on here. PRS do do them. I might actually have a look into some of those and I might review that on the channel as well. But I will give you my overall thoughts in a moment. First of all, let's just do a few sounds and then we'll come back. I'll go through all the pickup positions and you can see how it sounds because yeah, it's a very nice guitar. So let's go. <laughs> that neck pickup um, that's technically the humbucker position but it just sounds so thick and creamy on this it sounds so nice um, if I flick that up so we've got the single coil now you could say that's PRS probably trying to mimic a little bit uh, a strat on here sounds good I've got I've seen no complaints with it whatsoever that's the humbucker then to single coil on both and I'll put it back on the bridge position <laughs> sound really nice on all positions um, to wrap up this is a really really sweet guitar um, I'm not going to get rid of my the rest of my guitars because I enjoy those too um, but technically if you are in the market I would say just just to have one guitar in your arsenal this is such a good choice it's a really really good one uh, to consider going for it's very lightweight indeed um, doesn't cause fatigue I, I tend to stand up when I practice and play in general and this is a superb guitar for that because it is so light I don't get tired at all even standing and practicing for hours on end the neck kind of finishing here you've got lots of ability to get way up the neck into the highest positions without much issue at all there are other PRS's out there that might be right for you if you want the tremolo arm um, I think the DGT is a very good one um, to go for for the tremolo arm it's got a very similar ish neck carve to this not too thin not too fat it's it's a very just a very nice comfortable profile that one as well I think it's a very very good guitar to go for my is my overall thoughts great pickups um, great hardware in fact let's just test the, if I test the, the, the smoothness of the knobs yeah 
so you've also so they got that right as well tone wise the tone knob it works very very well indeed you can go very very smoothly up and down the range volume as well let's just test the volume let's find why not let's see <laughs> very smooth um, so there you go it is not I appreciate it's not the most cheap guitar on the market um, it is a still a relatively expensive guitar it costs the same as my relatively cheap Gibson which ain't cheap either but I think it's very very worth the money um, if you can find a way to <laughs> have the relevant um, funds for uh, something like this, it is well worth it. Um, I've been playing guitar for a long time now, and I've played so many duff, horrible things um, in my guitar playing life. And um, yeah, the PRS is just something absolutely brilliant, and I absolutely adore it, I love it. And um, there you go, that's my summary thoughts. So I'm not sponsored by PRS. Um, I'm not trying to make, win any friends or anything. Um, it's just a really, really cool guitar, and um, it means a lot to me to sort of pass that kind of information on because finding a good guitar, um, there are actually a lot more than when I first started playing. There's a lot of good guitars out there, but this is still one of the absolute, absolute best, I think, out there, full stop, um, for the money. And yes, it ain't cheap, but it ain't crazy, crazy, crazy money either. And um, yeah, it's it's worth every penny, frankly. So um, there you go. If you like it, um, you know, let me know in the comments. And if you do like the video, like all this kind of content, do like, comment, subscribe, and uh, before I drop the guitar, I will see you in the next one. All right, cheers, see ya, bye.